I'm so glad you came to get to know me. Hello, my name is Isha. I'm a singer songwriter. This seems like a mugshot tape or whatever they do. I asked you questions, I compiled them, and now I'm gonna answer the ones that I want to. <laughs> what do you do outside of music? What do I do outside of music? Now I, I do a lot, I do a lot outside of music. I have a life. I do triathlons. I've been doing triathlons since I was 13. What that entails is swimming, biking, running. And I went to the world championships for it in 2019 actually. So I was really, really, really into triathlons. I like to read. Follow me on Goodreads, bitch. I post really, really funny reviews. It's really funny to me. Good one, Isha. I like to travel. I like to write, whether that's like short stories, long stories, songs. Fuck! Outside of music, outside of music. How often do you encounter a fan in public? Only when I'm looking my absolute worst. Only when I'm borderline unrecognizable do people come out of the woodworks and find me and they all want to take a picture at that exact moment. Favorite movie shows books. I've suddenly forgotten every movie I've ever watched. Oh, okay, she's the man. Mission Impossible movies, like spy movies, action movies. I am a sucker for a good bad movie, like D-list movies that nobody else watches. Even the actors would be surprised that I watched them because they're so low budget, but I like them because they're so full of heart and soul. There's no way they could be doing it for the money because they're not making any money. Shows, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Damon, ah. Books, The Secret History. Oscar Wilde is so freaking funny, but I'm not that pretentious. I'll read romance, especially with banter or like ice hockey. Who or what inspired your music career? I remember listening to Room for Squares for the first time. That was the first album that I listened to all the way through and made me realize, oh, Oh, I want to be an artist. My orchestra teacher in high school was super duper encouraging. Basically, I had the orchestra at my disposal for my own compositions, which is crazy. He had this crazy amount of trust in me. What's life like as a Stanford graduate? I learned a lot. I made a lot of friends. I was class president, so might as well run for real president at this point. That being said, I'm way more of a city rat. Um, <laughs> city rat, is that a thing? I think I just made that up. How did you find your voice in songwriting? Doing it, doing it a lot, doing it more, doing it again. Tour, tour, tour. What are you going on tour, Isha? Come here, come here, come here, come here. I know you want to see me, but so desperate. Short-term goal, I'd love to open for Rule or Bibi Doobie. As for headliner tour, not this year specifically, but I'd love to eventually. I know that's not the answer you wanted, sorry. What do you say to all the haters? Sorry, I'm an Aquarius, I don't care. <laughs> do you worry about the future and think about other creative outlets? I would love acting. I kind of spontaneously followed my friend to do Shakespeare classical acting in London. It was so fun. I think I can be good at it. I think so. Dream collaboration. I love Golden Hours production. So Daniel, Tashian, Ian Fitzshook as producers, John Mayer as a guitar feature, and I have a lot of country songwriters that I'm a big fan of. What was your music journey? Long story short, my mom taught Indian classical music to me and the neighborhood kids, but I took it the most seriously. I just remember waking up at 5 a.m. every day and practicing with her, but it wasn't until I was 13 that I wrote my first song and I got obsessed. From there, I performed a lot in the tri-state area. Like Trenton Social was this bar, so funny because it was the first place that I performed and it was this bar in the middle of Trenton. So it's just me, this 13 year old girl and her immigrant father. <laughs> software engineer coming in like so scared and not sure about what he's even doing but it ended up being one of the best places where i could foster my music but also meet a lot of friends from different walks of life during high schools i would take a lot of trips to nashville and that's where i caught the eye of liz rose who writes a lot with taylor swift little big town we wrote together and i ended up doing my gap year in nashville where I was writing with people every day. I got a taste of that life. I blew up on TikTok and now it's just like full-time job. Do you have a boyfriend? 